Welcome back to the 2 in 1 and today I'm taking a look at both the LA Lakers and Portland Trail Blazers to go over whether or not I think they should trade Anthony Davis in exchange for Damian Lillard. But before another topic, just a quick question for those of you viewing. How many more rings do you think LeBron James will win in his career, if any more at all? Comment down below, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, whatever it is, comment down below and I'll give my answer at the end. But getting straight into it, this would be a huge blockbuster trade. For a number of reasons, I got the idea from Colin Coward, if you guys got that, if you guys watch him at all. He mentioned he would make the deal today just because Anthony Lake, Anthony Davis, the trade they initially made for him, you got him for two years and you earned a championship. You got your money's worth. You got what you were looking for. Now it's time to move on. Anthony Davis is just too injury prone. Damian Lillard, he's as committed, he is as committed as they could be and as healthy as, as they could be. He's a top two point guard in the league. Take him or Steph. Pick or poison, it doesn't matter. There's real those two are in a class of their own, at least in my opinion, around the league. And then of course you got LeBron James. Pairing those two up together would just be, I don't want to say an ideal super team, because it's more of a duo, but that would be quite a squad there because it would get rid of a lot of their problems. You know, LeBron wouldn't be so dependent on Anthony Davis' health. He can be really dependent on Damian Lillard's consistent health. You know, this would fix a Dennis Schroeder situation. They would know they don't need to sign him. Versus if they keep Anthony Davis, they're in a pickle whether or not to let Dennis Schroeder walk. Then their backcourt's kind of lacking with KCP and Alex Caruso. Neither of them are really going to run the offense and, you know, keep up with a Curry or any by any means. Not that Schroeder would, you know, match Curry or those other great point guards in the league, Trey Young, Damian Lillard. But you guys know what I mean. It's not Caruso out there trying to ball up and, you know, run the offense. This would really fix that situation because it gives them another super superstar that they could fully rely on and a guy that can match any backcourt in the NBA. And also, I think this would fix the situation. Maybe if you get rid of Anthony Davis and you possibly sign Andre Drummond for one more year, so you got a big man in the front court, a guy that could get you rebounds. You got Montrez Harrell. You got some good players here now. Alex Caruso, Damian Lillard, KCP, probably Kyle Kuzma. Still, you're looking like a decent squad with Damian Lillard and LeBron James on the same team with some depth behind them. Andre Drummond as well, like I said, this is a squad that could definitely make another final, finals run, but it wouldn't be as easy as a Anthony Davis, Damian Lillard trade straight up. Would this probably be the biggest name the Blazers could get in return? Yes, but this would also be sending him to a rival that's in the same conference that could go out there and just plummet you in the playoffs if you guys play in the next year, which you don't really want to happen, but you also have to think long term, what is your best big ticket name you're going to get in return for Dame? To me, you're not going to get anyone of higher value than, value than Anthony Davis. You know, there's other teams out there. The Knicks could put together a pretty deep package. The Pete could offer Bama to buy. There's other talents out there, maybe Jalen Brown or the Celtics that they were looking. But to me, no one's really going to top a healthy Anthony Davis, and that's the risk, though. Is Anthony Davis going to be healthy? The Blazers, I don't know. That's going to be a risk they take, and that's why it would probably cost more than just him. They'd have to trade for, you know, Lakers would obviously receive Damian Lillard, and in return... The, La the Blazers would receive Anthony Davis and maybe some of your bench players. Maybe they want Anthony Davis and Montrezl Harrell. Maybe they want Anthony Davis and Kyle Kuzma. Anthony Davis and Kyle Kuzma and uh, KCP. I don't know exactly. I doubt the Blazers are going to be like, yeah, give us Kuzma. That'll seal the deal. But you know what I mean? Maybe Anthony Davis, Kuzma, a guy that could still develop, and three first-round picks. Something along that line. That's just off the top of my head. I don't know if Anthony Davis and three first round picks, that might be a little too rich because you're still getting a top 10 player in the league, arguably for Dame. But still, I don't think an Anthony Davis and Damian Lillard trade straight up just those two players is fair by any means for the Blazers just because of the risk factor with Anthony Davis not being healthy. And I'm not sure he could be a number one guy in the league. Can he be a number one guy on his team in the sense that, you know, he could easily be the best guy? Can he take it into the playoffs? Quite possibly. But can he be your number one and you make a serious finals run? I don't see that happening. Maybe if your number two is LeBron just because he's gotten past his prime and he does kind of need someone to hand the baton off to. But we're talking about arguably the greatest player of all time, not just any other number two, if you know what I mean. So therefore, it gives the Blazers hope, someone to build around in their future. But you're going to need more than just Anthony Davis to make this trade fair and to build through your future. But I think, you know, Anthony Davis still is young and Damian Lillard is looking a little disgruntled. I think this would be a good package for both teams. You know, at the end of the day, the Blazers could say, well, we messed out on the first round picks. Kuz was nothing, but we still got the superstar Anthony Davis. And the Lakers, they got their championship guy. They got a guy that can run the backcourt that can really hand the bat or take the baton from LeBron James and, you know, carry an offense when LeBron James is off the court. 
Because to me, from the Lakers' perspective, I know it's risky and it's kind of crappy to move off of Anthony Davis just one year after they won the championship. But the guy doesn't stay healthy. He doesn't work out to, you know, work on his craft and work on his body. I'm not saying this guy doesn't train or practice, but, you know, he's just not that level of committed like a Kobe Bryant, like a LeBron James. And not everyone is, and that's fine. You know, I'm not knocking Anthony Davis for that, but just things like that, that are the those tangibles he's missing are the tangibles LeBron James and this Lakers team needs to rely on and fall back on. And therefore, this might cost Anthony Davis a job with the Lakers again. I'm not saying it will happen, but from both perspectives, I could see this working out. The only one in the middle that might not be seeing it work out is Anthony Davis says no, his agent doesn't agree, and it just does not happen. Of course, there's always a say in that. Anthony, you know, I'm pretty sure he might be on a no trade clause if I'm not mistaken. And he could say, no, I'm not going to Portland. So I don't know how that would work. But all in all, I do want to hear from you guys. Do you agree that the Lakers should trade for Damian Lillard instead of Anthony Davis? You know, if Anthony Davis is healthy, him and LeBron clearly can make a title run. They did it last year. But I just think Damian Lillard and LeBron James would be a better duo at this point just because of the reliability factor and not being able to consistently rely on Anthony Davis to give you consistent games, consistent health, and just consistent reliance and that is going to be a struggle for the Lakers to commit to over the next few years when Damian Lillard is on the table but we'll just have to see maybe Damian Lillard says he wants to stay in the port and maybe Damian Lillard heads to Miami tomorrow I don't know but if I were both sides I would at least consider it make a phone call and see if the other side is willing to we don't know we'll just have to see but like I said comment down below do you guys agree that both the Lakers and Blazers should consider it and the Lakers should definitely try to pursue it even if it is kind of crappy and pretty soon who knows? And referring back to the question today, how many rings, how many more rings do I think LeBron James will get? I'd find it very hard for him to not win one more ring before he retires. You know, I could see him retiring or winning a ring and then retiring right there and then. But he's getting up there in age. He's 36, going on 37. He's old, but I just see him getting at least one more. I wouldn't bet on two right now, but I definitely think LeBron James wins one more ring in his career and ends up a five on every single finger. Maybe might be just one short of Jordan still. That, you know, at this point, the GOAT argument, I feel like it's just everyone's one side at this point. They already made up their mind. We'll have to see, though. You guys tell me, like I said, how many more rings you think LeBron will win in his career. As always, and of course, I truly, truly appreciate it. Thank you for watching. Two Minute Warning.